Hello there, today we are doing a bit of bug fixing because I have been sent not this but this bug which is normal let's say pop up of widgets placed on desktop have a visual glitch so okay what is this visual glitch it looks like this and uh, here bottom right and we can see that this weird uh, line should not in fact be there so the user is indeed right this is a bug steps to reproduce add user switcher widget to desktop and click on it so let's go for it step one try to see if you can actually reproduce the bug it's a pretty important thing so user switcher as we've said and then we just click on it and there is indeed a bug I had already checked, so I knew about it. So we have this vertical line that should not be there. So in theory, in theory, I just look at this and say, okay, someone screwed up, but it's not my fault, so it's fine. But I received the message and we can see here, David Edmondson saying, it's this compact applet, um, draws a line between the applet dialog and the panel, blah, blah, blah. I did that it's my line which means that it is indeed my fault and i screwed up which also means that i should fix this so let's try to do that so let's open up uh, that particular line that apparently according to david edmondson and i do trust <laughs> edwin edwin edmondson on this these things uh, is causing the bug so it's in kd source frameworks if i remember correctly plasma framework uh, source and it was somewhere let's just compact um, no what was it again compact applet let's just run um, find grab uh, compact with a capital C compact applet dot QML. where are you and what I got the wrong uh, repository I was pretty sure it was there. Maybe it's um, KD workspace um, plasma workspace. Okay, let me say that it's been quite some time since I system tray. What? No, this can't be it. Must be something else. Plasma desktop. It has been some time since I last like work for KD and stuff. Oh, it's this one. So I don't remember like anything, <laughs> forgive me. So uh, what is going on? CD desktop package, uh, contents, applet, is it right? I, I need to go here and then we can open up compact applet. The line is uh, 202 look how pretty is the new well, we i think we need to revert something about this but in general how pretty is the new thingy with you know touch touch support so pretty i like it um okay so let's get back to work draws a line okay so what is going on what is this line saying why is everything um, so first of all, sorry, first of all, I'm saying um, top is either undefined or parent top, depending if you're on the bottom edge. In general, what is this line? The concept is if you open up this thingy, you can see that there is a very small line uh, between the widget and the panel which was recently added by me, which is why I'm here trying to fix stuff. And apparently if uh, none of the plasma location fit these, such as when you, where am I? When you have a widget on the uh, desktop, let's add it back. Uh, kickoff also, we called it launcher. Kickoff also, uh, have this bug so it's pretty big 
And let's see how to fix it. So the concept here is there's nowhere to actually draw the line between the applet and the panel, which means that it draws a giant line on top of everything, I guess. Let's try if this is, uh, let's check if it, this is actually the bug we're, um, if this is actually the fix. So let's just hide the line altogether. If this fixes it, well, it means that David Edmondson here is right. We could avoid this step entirely because I'm sure he already tried this. <laughs> and that's why he is um, saying that that line is at fault. But let's uh, just uh, indeed see that uh, something is wrong. Where is it? KDE workspace plasma um, desktop, desktop. And then it was desktop. Uh, I just need to make install. So it will take uh, potentially a while because it's compiling. So, and it's done. It took a while, like half an hour, but we're back. So maybe in the lunch. Sorry about that. So let's see if it works. So we source the prefix and restart Plasma Shell like this. By the way, are you still watching? Is still re recording and stuff? Yes, seems like so. So that's gone. Nice. As we were saying, we should have restarted Plasma Shell by now. Well, it's working on it. <laughs> no hurry whatsoever, Plasma. Okay. Okay, but did it also restart the wallpaper stuff? Well, I mean, the bug is gone, so it was clearly that. So yes, um, David was right. This is the problem. Now, of course, we can just get rid of the line because it was supposed to be there, but we can see uh, in what case should we hide it? And well, we should hide it when there's no panel attached to it. And the question therefore is, how do we know when a panel is not attached to the line? Thankful, thankfully, we don't have to like work it out ourselves completely because David Edmondson also suggested a solution here, which is potentially just needs a visible uh, plasmoid location equals left or top. And what does that mean? So basically plasmoid location has a value that could be like bottom left, top and right, uh, depending on the panel position, plus another value, which I think is floating or something like that. We'll check uh, when it's on the desktop or something else. So let's immediately check out um, uh, what kind of values do we have in plasmoid uh, location. Again, uh, we've got these things. In theory, there should be another version. So plasma core types, we'll just Google the documentation. Usually that works really well. And we've got it here. We are expecting left edge, right edge, top edge, bottom edge, and floating. So left edge, location, yes. Floating, desktop, full screen, makes sense. And then top edge, both. Okay, so we've also got floating, desktop, full screen, top edge. Okay, so what we can do at this point is only show the line if we are in an edge. So how do we know that? What values are these? Uh, where is it? This is an enum. So I guess it's, um, what is this? Uh, I don't know. We can, what's a pretty way to do that? We could say, I think it's, um, so we only show this if plasmoid location has the flag plasma core types bottom edge uh, or plasma core types to top edge or you got the idea plasma core plasma core types right edge or plasma core type um, left edge. This is messing with flags, but I think it should work. 
I don't remember the default behavior of uh, enumerations, honestly. I'm not a big C++ guy, sorry about that. And let's see if, you, if we can find this. So left edge. Okay, so it just takes the default values. Floating in zero, desktop then must be like one, full screen, two, four, eight, 16, something like that. I don't remember though. Or is it just zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm messing up? Mm. It must be zero, one, two, three, four, five. So I, I'm not supposed to use flags here. So is there a better way to do this? It was also suggesting the form factor. Uh, let's see, form factor. Um, form factor, planner, maybe sense horizontal, vertically, application, is this this one? Is there a property form factor for the plasmoid, which um, I never used it, so um, KDE plasmoid. Uh, I think it's something like this, form factor. Let's see if we get anything out of it. Mm -hmm. Applet interface sounds about right which indeed uses a uh, um, form factor variable, so that makes sense. And the values are planar, the, apl the applet lives in a plane and has two degrees of freedom to grow. Okay. Media center, which is a weird value, then horizontal, vertical, and application. I don't think this helps at all because just according to the documentation, documentation, sorry, uh, the applet should be planar both when it's on the desktop and attached to the panel. So that probably doesn't help much. And how can we... So, I mean, I guess the only way is literally the very ugly, but I mean, if it works, it works. Uh, um, plasmoid location equals plasma core types left edge or this thing four times. There's probably a better way that honestly uh, I can figure, figure out right now. Um, I don't know if you have some suggestions, I'll be open to hear them. Uh, right edge, top edge, and uh, bottom edge. Let's see if this works uh, right away. So, uh, not that. I need to compile first. Um, compile. Please do not take half an hour again. <laughs> okay, that worked. Then let's restart Plasma Shell yet again. Sorry about that, Plasma Shell. Don't hit on me. And let's wait for the panel to actually appear to know that everything is still working just fine. And then if we pop up this thing, there's no ugly line, so that's good. But is there a line if I open the calendar? Yes, there is. So this looks like it worked. Hopefully nothing's broken. But I don't think there's like a chance that uh, anything is broken. This is such a small change that surely I won't have to do another video fixing other stuff about this. And then we just take this and put it in the KD chat. Uh, KD UDG. And we're done. I was probably not supposed to put it in the VDG, VDG chat, it's not that important and it's just a bug fix, but let's pretend it's actually meaningful and we're done. So 
it only took like I think 15 minutes or so it was a small bug and David Edmondson had already done a great job uh, finding it uh, finding the issue there but I will try to do another devlog very soon so stay tuned uh, subscribe blah 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 It's compiling so perché c'è quel perché c'è che mi giacco perché c'è la peccia che lei c'è la che gioca per ciascheggia che c'è la peccia la peggio già con la giugolare in brodo di giugiole giungola giungola di giostre che giù con le giuste tizie e ciò amicizie che ci sia da 